Okay, so I'm given this word problem and I want to work it out. So I have this rectangular tank with a length of 20 feet, a width of 8 feet, and a height of 30 feet. And the tank has water up to a height of 10 feet. So the rest of the way, it's just empty. And I'm asked to find the amount of work required to pump all of the water to the top of the tank. Just to the top, not any higher, not out. And I'm given the weight volume of water to be 62.4 pounds per cubic feet. So let's start thinking about how we need to find work. So if we remember correctly, we have these little elements of work, and that is displacement times little forces. So I'm just going to call displacement L. Then we want to integrate. But we're still missing those little elements of force. So we can recall that So df equals that weight volume times dv. Well, let's think about dv. Let's start about thinking about a cross-sectional area, you know, horizontally. So the base is 20 by 8 feet, so a cross-sectional area is going to be 160 feet squared. So I can think about dv as 160 dz. Okay. And I know this weight density to be 62.4. So for dw, I just need to multiply this by displacement. And our displacement is going to vary, right? The water all the way at the bottom of the tank is going to have to move all the way up. But the stuff at 10, foot, 10 feet is only going to have to move 20 feet. So let me think about my displacement as 30 minus z. use my handy calculator to find out that is 3,744. So I have delta work is 30 minus z times 3,744 dz. So now let's integrate with respect to z. I'm going to pull this 3,744 outside of the integral just because it's a constant. Now let's think about my bounds of integration. I know the water is in the tank up to a height of 10 feet. So from the bottom, z equals 0, up to z equals 10. So now let's go ahead and integrate with respect to z. 30 is like a constant, so when I integrate 30, I'm going to get 30z. And then when I integrate z, I'm going to get 1 half z squared. And I want to evaluate this from z equals 0 to z equals 10. So let's start by plugging in. Well, let's do 10 first. 30 times 10 is 300 minus, and 10 squared is 100 divided by 2 is 50. And then for z equals 0, I just get 0. So if I go ahead and plug in 3,744 times 250 in my calculator, I get 936,000. So that's how much, ooh, joules. So that's how much work it's going to take to pump all that water to the top of the tank. Sorry guys, 
Main mistake on the units. It's actually 936,000 foot-pounds, since joules is a metric uh, measure.